Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today I'm going to show you how to import your own sounds and samples into Machine. So let's go ahead and click on Browse over here. And in your software on the top left, you can see that we have two categories, the library and files. So let's click on files and in your files, you're going to see all these folders that you have or your drives, hard disks, and you're going to want to navigate to the drive or the folder that your library or sample pack is inside of. So I'm going to go to desktop, which is over here on the top, but you're going to have to navigate to wherever your folder is saved. So I'm going to click on desktop and I have the Essential Club Sounds Volume 2 by Vengeance. So if I double click on that, you can see I have all these different folders inside of it. So if I click on any of these folders or double click on them, then you can see I have all these different sounds that I can hear them, but I can't hear them unless this icon over here is turned on. So click on this and... All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna click on this icon over here and exit out of this folder. So I'm gonna exit out of this folder. And then this is the folder that I wanna import. So I'm going to right click on this folder. And in your case, you're gonna right click on whichever folder you have. Uh, once you navigate to it. So right click and import that folder, which has all the sounds inside of it. And you'll see this window opens up in the bottom. So here we have all these categories that come with machine. So I'm gonna click on the plus sign at the bottom and I'm gonna type in vengeance or whichever sample pack you have. So once I do vengeance, because vengeance has a lot of different subcategories, I'm gonna add another one. So I'm gonna call it Vengeance Essential Club Sounds, which is VEC. And VEC has a lot of subcategories inside of it. So right now I'm importing the offbeat bass. So I'm gonna right click, wait, where'd it go? Okay, so right click, import library, and we still have these categories that we just made. So I'm gonna click on the VEC. And then in the next category, I'm gonna click on plus and do VEC2, Offbeat bass. Offbeat bass. Or I'm going to do off bass just so that we can see it. And then I'm going to hit OK. And now in your machine, if you go to browse and you navigate to samples, you can see that you have your samples. So the first knob will take me to Vengeance, second knob takes me to VEC, and then the third knob I can navigate to VEC to off base. And then I can scroll. All right, so if I want to select a different pad, it's not going to let me select it because this little icon in the bottom is turned on. So let's turn that off, which is pre here, and then it's going to let me select these pads. So if you want to select different pads, make sure it's turned off. So I'm going to browse to a different sound and I'm going to click on load. So I'm going to select this pad, click on load. And I'm also going to delete the bottom right pad by hitting erase, shift and selecting the pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first pad and I'm going to navigate to my bass drums folder in my software. So I'm going to select bass drums and in my bass drums, I have all these different categories of bass drums. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the breakbeat and right click and import library. And then in the bottom, I'm going to select vengeance VEC, and then I'm going to hit the plus sign and type VEC to breakbeat kick. And VEC two and okay. So in my machine, if I, go to the second knob from the right, I can scroll and see the VEC2 kick that I just added. And in that, there's all these different sounds. So in my software, in the bottom left, if I click on that little white icon again, I can scroll and hear my sounds. All right, and then I'm gonna click on load on my machine. So it's gonna load it on the first pad, then select a different pad and go in my software to a different folder. So I'm gonna go to snares, right click, import to library, and then I can go to vengeance, VEC, plus VEC2, snares, and OK. And then in my machine, the second knob from the right, I can go to the subcategories and go to VEC2, snares. All right, so 
Now that we're loading these samples, I'm going to select another pad, go to my base, and pick a different base. So a base in a different key. So I'm going to add a C, C note. All right, guys, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.